And welcome to your gold market rate charts of the day. It's Thursday, the 28th of September 2023. Mike Smith, senior analyst at gold markets, as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session, leading you around what's happening today. Of course, overnight, we saw a generally positive session in the US with small gains across all of the major indices apart from the Dow. Obviously, it's been a fairly significant and tumultuous week over the last few trading days. One thing of note, of course, we are seeing US dollar continue to strengthen. One of the major reasons behind this is the 10-year bond yield is at its highest level for 15 years. Really significant and suggesting that interest rates may stay high. US futures are slightly higher in Asian trading and Asian markets are quite mixed this morning after a pretty tepid start. ASX has just moved above neutral to hit its highs of the session so far, but European futures are pointing to a cautious open this afternoon still. The VIX bounced downwards off its 200 MA, suggesting a little bit of market calming. But as we said, the US dollar index is now at 10 month highs on further gains. It's near neutral in Asia, but we did see gold move down again to breach 1900 level to hit March lows. Copper surprisingly held support at this stage, but still looks precarious. And oil is up again at one year highs now, which is again not great news for the market. Bitcoin was lower yesterday's price moved to the bottom of the range, but holds 26,000. And today's data we've got Australian retail sales on, Eurozone consumer sentiment, US weekly jobs, GDP, and Q and Q PCE data, as well as some housing data also due out the US. So a busy session that side of the world the big data point this week is tomorrow it's the year on year pce data which is of course the fed's favorite inflation measure so that will be one worth keeping an eye on as we approach the back end of a month which has really been quite miserable for equities a couple of charts of core ri today we are seeing some strength in the australian dollar this morning and you can see here versus the usd we hit our lows yesterday at around about 63.30. Really strong bounce off that. We've continued that in Asian trading today to bring us back to this pivot at 63.64. And we think that a move back up to 64 would potentially be a possibility. Remember, of course, you're trading against the overall longer term trend. So getting greedy in this position may well not serve you well. And certainly move back up to 64 looks on the cards. PLS of Core RI. This, like most of the lithium stocks, has had a little bit of a rough ride over the last couple of weeks or so, but we did see a, a nice bounce. You can see that engulfing candle three days ago. A little bit of a pullback again, but we're seeing buying coming in again to PLS, which is probably fundamentally one of the stronger lithium companies. This has created a, an interesting potential double bottom type of formation. And we could see this move back up towards this 200 ma at around about 450 in the first instance and possibly even back up to around about 475 so another one to keep on your radar be interested to see whether this closes over 425 which we will consider to be an important level trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now